Ayo, boss, and welcome back. Before the grilling season is officially underway, which it might be for you, we're going to show you one more fun kind of indoor burger that we like to make here and we enjoy. This is going to be a cheeseburger wrap, kind of fun, inventive, and we really enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get cooking. The first thing you're going to do is just take some ground beef and just start to slowly cook it up. Chef has the mix and chop out yet again. Can't, can't shake it. Once your ground beef has been broken up and cooked, just go ahead and add a little seasoning. Chef has the AP rub that he uses so often. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. And he's going to go ahead and cut up an onion while his meat is just uh, on the side staying warm. He's going to cut it in half and then he's going to bring it up to about almost all the way to the top and just make little slits all the way down. So the knife is just at the top of the onion, little slits, maybe like not even a couple millimeters, close as you can get them. And then very slowly, very carefully, try to make very precision cuts all the way down, as close as you can. That'll make this onion very finely chopped. And we don't have workman's comp, so chef's gonna be careful, right? Oh, jeez. And there you have it, some nice finely chopped onions. Works good for chef. He's gonna go ahead and throw these in and just cook them up for a couple minutes, by all means, do different recipes, add, take out whatever you want. You can follow our recipe. The directions are going to be in our blog. Ingredients will be down below. Okay, so Chef just has a wrap. He's just going to take a couple spoonfuls, place it right in the center, and then just add some of his toppings that he wants. So he's going to go with cheese, and this is shredded cheddar, a couple pieces of lettuce, and a couple pickles. He's gonna add his condiments, so he's gonna throw a little ketchup in there and a little bit of mustard. And then he's just gonna take this and wrap the one side into the other, folding it down. Yours probably won't be this full. Chef packed his, of course. And all he's gonna do now is fold the corners in and the tops. So he's just folding the sides in and, whoa, whoa, geez, chef. You played yourself on camera last video. Now you're playing with the food in this one. You freaking perv. And there you have it, just like your standard burrito. If you do have a panini grill, by all means, definitely use it. It is quick and easy. If you don't, you can just place these in your oven. After several minutes, they'll be golden brown on the panini grill. The oven may take about 15 to 20 minutes. Chef's just going to remove these. Has great lines to it. Nice job, Chef. And he's just going to cut it down the center. As, as you can see, looks great. He's going to serve these up, of course, with some classic fries. It goes good with a burger with some fries. And then if you'd like, you can go ahead and Chef's going to throw a little ketchup down. And if you want to dip the burger in this as well a little more, you can do that. That's optional for you. And here you have it. So, nice little hamburger, all in just a little wrap formation. Kind of fun, unique. Uh, a lot of the people here love it. Um, Chef loves to make this. It's fun and easy, kind of on the go. Thanks again just for joining us. We really do hope you try this recipe. It really is fun to make, and we think you're going to enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed yet, we do hope you do uh, hit that button, keep up with further videos. Uh, check out last week's video that will pop up, as well as our blog for other recipes. We're going to get into the grilling season soon, so please stay with us. And like always, don't forget, cooking should be fun. Have fun doing it. And I'm out of music.